Right, good morning guys, so it's JJ Richards back again with another vlog. So today it's Friday the 16th of February, which means it's about three weeks and I'm going to say two days out from my competition. So let me give you a quick update on this week. So mentally I've been really good, like no blips as of last weekend and physically absolutely drained like calories have come down significantly this week so i'm talking on a training day it's about 1700 calories getting about anywhere between 50 to 100 grams of carbs on those days rest days i'm trying to go like low carb as possible and around 1300 calories so it's probably the lowest amount of calories i've ever consumed during a prep my body weight at the moment, so as of this morning, it was 89.25 kilos. And as I've mentioned before, my body weight needs to be 87 kilos. So the next three days, I'm going to push really, really hard. So I'm not working for the next three days, so it doesn't really matter about my energy levels. So I'm going to go for three days, absolute zero carbs. I'm going to shoot for very low calories. So today's going to be a rest day, so I think it's about 1,300 calories. And then on a training day, it's probably going to be a little bit more because I'll have an additional protein meal after the gym. But it's not going to be anything more than 1,500 calories. So I'm hoping by these next three days that come Monday, body weight is nice and low. And then I'm going to do a clean refeed on Monday. It's going to be all clean foods. I've got it in my head now. No more junk food, no more cheats until after the show. And then pushing again next week and then hopefully my weight will be where it needs to be so I want to get a little bit lower because I want to make sure I can like feed up and actually fill up for the competition because I know at the moment I am extremely flat but my condition at the moment is ridiculous it is by far the best it has ever been quite enjoying doing posing in the morning with like no food in my stomach I'm probably not really going to eat much on the day of the show as well because my stomach control and my abs look a million times better when there's no food in my stomach so, plan for today, this is currently meal number one, a can of Monster. Gonna head over to Aldi and do a food shop and get all my food prepped for the next three days just so I can get it done. Because obviously energy is gonna be low, so I just wanna try and relax a little bit. Um, there's no cardio today. My legs feel like absolute shit. It just, I've got no feeling in my body from like my waist down. So I'm gonna try and rest up today, try and do quite a lot of stretching, a bit of foam roller in, just to try and get a little bit more feel in my lower body. And I'll probably go back at doing a little bit more cardio over the next couple of days. I've not gone on to any fat burners even for the last couple of weeks. I'm probably gonna reintroduce those next week. So just two weeks of getting the fat burners back in. Just get rid of the last little bit of body fat. And then hopefully we are all good to go. I'm starting to get really excited now. It's really close. Got like two more weeks at work. I always take the last week off just so I can relax and chill out. Gonna try and get a lot more videos up for you guys. So stay tuned for today's vlog. Give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. I'm almost at that 200 mark. And my goal is to get 200 by the time I compete. So please subscribe. And we're going to head over to the shops in about 10, 15 minutes to get some food in. So let's head over there and I'll bring you guys along for the day. Right, so it's about half past 10 now. So I'm just about to tuck into meal number one. So what I'll quickly show you is my meal prep and what I'll be eating for the next three days. So meal number one is what I'm just about to eat now. So I've got, it's about six, seven ounce steak there and there's just two egg whites. And then the next two meals, there's 200 grams of chicken with just a little bit of salad. And then also in there, I've just got um, a little bit of chopped up jalapenos and a little bit of sauerkraut. I've only just started recently having this. Apparently it's really good for um, digestion and gut aid as well. So that's pretty good. And then after that, I will then go on to having a fish meal. So there's two lots of fish there. So I'll have one lot tomorrow, one lot today. And again, I'll have that with a salad. And then the last meal of the day will be six egg whites and four rashers of turkey bacon. So the total calories and macros for like my food at the moment. So 1,300 calories, so very, very low. And the breakdown of that is 260 grams of protein, 22 grams of fat, and just 12 grams of carbs. So this is what I'm gonna be doing now for the next three days. It's gonna be hard, but hopefully it'll do what I need it to do 
get my weight nice and low, ready for a higher day on Monday. Right, I'm absolutely starving because I've not eaten since last night. So I'm gonna tuck into meal number one and I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so really quick check-in. This is why prep when you've got kids is so much more difficult because when it's Friday night, and the kids want pizza. You have to sit and watch them eat it. And especially when you've had zero carbs all day, this is real torture. But being a good father like I am, I don't make those suffer just because I choose to suffer myself. Right, good morning guys. So it's Saturday morning now, nice and early, just about half past five. So if I had to step on the scales, see what my morning weight is, hopefully it's gonna be low 89. If it was 88, I'd be a very happy man. Right, moment of truth. Oh, you absolute dancer, 88.35. Get in, the suffering is paying off. Right, so let me give you guys a quick update. So currently we are just at the Cardiff Gate services. It's actually had a really good workout, nice train chest and abs. However, I made an absolute major cock up. So I've always had in my head that my maximum weight was 87 kilos. But I've just re-gone back on the website again, had another look. I'm five foot nine, which means I'm allowed to be 197 pounds, which means my maximum weight is 89 kilos. So I'm actually now at the weight I need to be. So just, I don't know if I'm relieved or my head's just up my ass or I don't know what to do. So I've decided to come over to Wales to see a good friend of mine who is at IFBB Pro, James Llewellyn. So I can go and have a coffee with him, just chat with him for a little bit. Hopefully he can have a look at me, see what he suggests and then make a plan for the next three weeks. But overall it's positive because I don't hopefully have to absolutely starve myself like I've been doing for the last couple of days to make weight. So that's all good. However, I promised the kids a donut so they're gonna be sat here eating a donut and I am gonna eat a chicken salad but three for two on monsters which was a result so I'm gonna eat this head over to see James and I'll update you after that right what a crazy crazy day it has been today so went over to see James like I said that was all good and um, he had a quick look at me he was quite happy with what he saw so I've got three weeks left to push now which is good so Again, I cannot believe that I messed up with the whole weight thing, but it's actually good news because I know now that I've not got to be crazy and try and sacrifice losing muscle or anything like that or try and starve myself to make the weight. So that's good. So I feel like I've still got a little bit of body fat to lose just off my lower back and off my stomach. Um, but again, I've got three weeks to get rid of that. So not too worried about it. I think my plan going into like the next two weeks, I'm going to do moderate carbs, moderate protein, low fats, just try and do that for two weeks, keep the cardio in, put the fat burners back in, hopefully just cruise into the show. My body should be not too battered, so it looks pretty fresh on stage, and then I'll decide what I'll do for peak week, but I'll keep you updated anyway. Right, I'm gonna end the video here. I feel like it's been a long one today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Trying to give you as much insight to the crazy world of prep. <laughs> Um, but anyway guys if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button appreciate all the support so far and literally three weeks more to go I cannot wait for this prep to be over and done with so I can live my life like a normal human being again till next time peace